Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So today we are going to look at how to install SQL Server 2017 Express Edition. In order to of course install it you need the installer file so I'll get the download of it. So we'll go to Google and Express version of SQL 2017. So this is the official website from where you can download it. And what it would do, it would download a small package which will help us to directly install um, or do it through the media so I'm going to download this file now all right okay let's open this folder let's close this and I'm going to run this now so what it would do it would first um, get me the options whether I can go for basic installation custom installation or I can download the media you can go with any of these options if you go to download media you would be able to download Express Core Edition or now you can also download with Express Advanced Edition which will give you SQL Server Engine full text services and reporting services all together I have already downloaded this and you can browse where you would like to download it and then you can start downloading so of course when you start downloading it will start downloading the specific version which you have basically selected so in my case I have already downloaded this and it's available over here so what I'm going to do is I'm go going to install this now First of all, of course, it would extract it. So I would name it as extract. Okay. So we see over here now I have a folder where I have extract folder and all the files are being extracted over here. All right. Once the files are extracted, of course, it would start the installer and then based on the process time it would show me this SQL Server installation window so I'm going to go for installation of SQL Server Management Studio or uh, reporting services or new server instance in my case I'm going to go with first option Of course, I'll accept the license agreement. Go next page. If I want to check for Microsoft updates, I can do this. Could not search for Microsoft updates. It's fine. It's not a big issue. I can go next. it has checked for um, quick things and it has detected if your firewall is on you probably need to make necessary changes but for me I'm going to use it as a local SQL server for now so I'm going to click on next I'll install of course database engine if I want to install full text sem uh, semantic extraction <laughs> Python machine learning services of course I can do that but currently I'm not going to install anything else other than these three things I mean these things which are their database engine client tools connectivity etc and I'm going to click next right it will give me the name I'm not going to change it and I'm going to go with the default name 
if you want to change the name instance to something else it's your choice of course you can change it but in my case I'm going with the default because it's just a test environment SQL Express Edition is fine for me I'll keep these things as default if I want to enable browser service also I can do it uh, that's important when you have this server accessible from outside uh, from outside this machine means from the network and of course browser service is really important in that case I'm not going to change anything over here and then just click on next so now on this page it is asking me for what kind of authentication mode I would like to go in I would prefer to go with mix mode uh, for my this thing so that I should have SA account also I would provide the password alright and if I want to add some more users to have access to this of course I can add it from here if I want to change the data directories and stuff I can do it over here I can change the temp DB user instances file stream what currently I'm not going to change anything other than this okay let's verify okay so we are good now we'll start okay still it seems password has issue okay let's go next and now it will start the installation process of course it would take time uh, based on speed of your machine because SQL server is little heavy when it comes to installation and running the machine on so of course it would take time it will install all the features and once everything is done we are good we'll have SQL server installed other than SQL server I normally prefer to install management studio if of course I need SQL reporting services I can go with this option also but in my case the next thing which I'm going to install would be in uh, server management studio So when you are installing SQL servers you have to keep it in mind that you should have good specs because SQL server is resource hungry. Um, I normally do it in my test environments. Uh, it's kind of a trick or tips I would say it's a tips and tricks kind of a thing. Um, um, with management studio what I do I connect to SQL server instance and I try to restrict the memory utilization by default SQL server is configured to eat or take all available memory so once we'll have management studio installed I'll show you how you can change the memory of um, SQL server so that it should not consume more than that but of course that's no that's not a best practice if you have good resources just limit it accordingly so that it should not eat up all and you know that okay for example I'm running this application and this application would need SQL server resources this much so you can decide on those things those factors how much memory you would allocate to SQL server specifically so this is my 2019 server if you see um, over here this is my 2019 server where I am installing SQL Express Edition 2017 version with this installation of course it would be creating its installations and you can see things have started appearing over here for me
So this tutorial, as I said earlier, specifically talks about how to install SQL Server 2017 Express Edition and how you can download it. It covers both the topics. So as you see, we have seen how to download SQL Express Edition 2017 and then now we are looking at how we can install this. It's easy, simple, it's not very complicated because we have gone by the default settings but of course there are a lot of things which you can talk about there are a lot of things which you can tweak which we have not talked about but of course those are the things which we can do on um, SQL Server when we are installing it like changing the directory because it's a test environment I don't care about data and all but if you have a production environment where you are installing a normal SQL Server not Express Edition it is always preferred to change your data and log directories to D drive or E drive, any other drive other than C so that if something goes wrong with your Windows partition, it should not affect your SQL server. You should not lose your data in short. right we are good and if you see there are no errors all our components which we required and selected during the installation got installed we'll just close this now the next step as i said i'm going to install management studio but before that just for your understanding we have some services which ms sql express edition would run let's verify them if you look over here, I have a few services over here which are running. Browser service I didn't uh, enable and I didn't start. Same as agent service, but of course, based on certain requirements, we need to um, enable and start these services also. Let's go and install Management Studio now. So, if you want to get, of course, Management Studio installed you need to download management studio separately and for that you have something called SSMS which is SQL Server Management Studio which you can download okay let's download it all right so the download for my management studio is also complete this is just running the security scan which is completed now i'm going to install the management studio also Though I did not require it for my installation purpose, but I just wanted to show you how you can install SQL Management Studio along with Express Edition. So currently, I don't have Management Studio, but of course, with this installation, I'll get Management Studio installed also. So our SQL Server Management Studio is installed. We'll just restart the machine and come back. So our machine is up. We are back. Now we'll just verify the installation. If you see over here, we have analysis deployment and we have Management Studio, which is what we installed so if I run it you can see I can start SQL management studio and I can connect to my database which I have just installed yep so my SQL management studio is up and running now and it has automatically detected the 
current server express edition which is installed on the same server I can just simply connect and you can see that I am able to connect to this database currently this has nothing just as a fresh installation so I was talking about tips and tricks you have to go to properties of SQL server and if you want you can change the memory size because currently if you see it has a maximum number so I normally do change it for my testing so I'm just going to allocate 2 GB so that my SQL server should not exceed the utilization more than 2 GB of my RAM and you can see if you do not want to allow the processors or stuff like that so I'm not going to change processor but memory yes I do and now if you come over here you will see that it has your value assigned so it will not go more than 2 GB of memory utilization so this is how you can download SQL Express 2017 and SQL Management Studio and how you can install both the components Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.